we have to talk about this Miraculous Awakening movie that just premiered today on Netflix. You're in the zone, the superhero zone. Q and track. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Super Heroes 101, where the superheroing is never done. My name is Xavier Lee. For those of you who know me, and I'll be your host. And those of you who are older to my channel know that I'm not do I I'm not doing mirac I used to I said a while ago that I wasn't gonna do miraculous ladybug videos anymore because I do not like the things that are in the show and that are going on in the show right now. I really, really don't. Um, and the redundant storyline and so forth. But this miraculous movie changed the game. But first, let me give you some background. So basically, Thomas Astruck is in charge of the show. Jeremy Zag is an overarching boss who is in charge of all of Miraculous, but he's taking the executive decision to be in charge of this movie or potential future movies. Now, this Miraculous Awakening movie was a musical. I'm not typically a music person fan like a musical fan i love music but i don't like music holes um and this kind of changed my mind on it because all the songs were strategically placed if you couldn't tell this is going to be my non-spoiler review and then i'm going to go into detail with my spoiler review later on so yeah but like it really exceeded my expectations the story is very much changed from the original uh storyline and i really enjoy it i really love it and i feel like if you don't like the show you're definitely going to like this movie um, cause I'm not the only one who le met, left the Miraculous fandom because, um, of the stuff that I've mentioned before. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did a video on it. Go watch that video where I mentioned why I don't do Miraculous videos anymore. But, yeah, um, Miraculous, Ladybug, the show, I feel like it's terrible. Like, I feel like it's bad. It's gotten really bad because the fact that we're still in the same school year and we're on season five is kind of ridiculous and is kind of a problem. And the fact that the love square is just now developing is also kind of a problem, but we're not even going to talk about it. But yeah, um, all of that stuff, all of my gripes get squashed. And right off the bat, like, Miraculous Awakening is a 10 out of 10. Like, it's a 10 out of 10 straight out of the water. I know some people are not going to like it, but I love it. And it adds to the Miraculous Universe, Multiverse, technically the Multiverse. The animation style is fantastic. They changed some character designs to fit, you know, their racial roles. Um, not roles, but, like, their racial groups, like, their ethnic groups. Like, it, like their look looks better. Everybody's voice acting was perfect. I loved it. And yeah, that's pretty much all I can say without giving the all the storyline away. But like, th that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it off for you guys for interpretation. And I hope you guys watch this video before you go watch Miraculous Awakening on Netflix. Go watch it. Go support it. It's really great. And I really recommend that you watch it. But yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. You're going to find every time I post me or go live on this very channel. No spoilers in the comments down below. Please follow my Instagram and TikTok. Um, follow my new YouTube channel called Xavier Lee, where we talk about everything not related to Power Rangers, so basically current world events and so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, I'll be back with a video fully going into depth about this Miraculous Awakening movie. But until then, I will see you guys in my next video, and remember, yippee Kaye, let's ride!